The entire month of February, Black History Month, News 12 bringing you stories of perseverance, strength and brilliance from black people across the Hudson Valley. This morning, we're focusing on a Westchester artist forging her community's history in bronze. News 12's Veronica Jean Seltzer introduces us to Vinnie Bagwell. It's details that make people go wow. With every model, every detail, Yonkers artist Vinnie Bagwell is remolding the story of her people. We're all storytellers. You may not recognize Bagwell, but maybe you know her work. These enslaved people at the Yonkers Public Library. The breath of slavery. Sojourner Truth in Poughkeepsie. Sojourner Truth, fifth generation grandson, is sleeping on an uh, air mattress on my floor at the foot of the sculpture. Frederick Douglass at Hofstra. I didn't think that doing this kind of work would connect me to, literally, to history. Born in Yonkers in the late 50s, Bagwell was always good at drawing. My parents would brag about me. But after a variety of jobs, she was looking for her place. At 36 in 1993, she tried sculpting for fun. Four days later, I come up with my first sculpture and I freak out. But there were challenges, like how to make money in an expensive, white male-dominated medium. She found public art grants and asked for her first commission from Yonkers in 1996. A life-sized bronze first lady of jazz, Ella Fitzgerald, the first ever sculpture a U.S. municipality commissioned of a contemporary African-American woman. It's like, oh. Her portfolio grew. Carving a herringbone pattern. Maybe you'll find her success even more amazing when I tell you she's legally blind. I was one of the first children to wear hard contact lenses. You don't see a lot of monuments to black American history on Main Street. Bagwell seeks to balance that out with public art as a form of reparation. She carves humanity into every enslaved statue along with lessons. How long can I engage you with the work? Can I make you walk all the way around it? She says the last few years, her phone has been ringing. She says it's exciting to hear about commissions like a new $4 million competition from Dayton College to honor enslaved Africans. It's kind of like when the lotto gets to be $900 million. It's like you take all of the restrictions off your imagination and you just think about stuff you want to do. And at 64, she's not done yet because she says we're all American, but we're not all treated like Americans. Veronica Jean Seltzer, News 12. Her work powerful, her work purposeful, beautiful. Wow, and for more than a decade, Bagwell has also been working on the Enslaved Africans Rain Garden, a Yonkers sculpture garden, honoring the first enslaved Africans freed by law in the country. And that is set to open come the spring.